Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to tackle a really common problem with outdoor footage, and that's blown out skies. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with video, you don't have the same headroom that you might with a photograph shot in RAW. Now, RAW video does exist, but it's not very common, and unfortunately, when the sky blows out, there's not much you can do. Today's episode is going to show you what techniques are at your disposal and try to help you put a little bit more life in there to bring things back out. So let's see how it works. I've got a clip selected here and what I'm going to do to start off is really sort of get the colors a little bit richer in that sky. One of my favorite techniques to do here is to start with the shadow highlights filter. So I'm going to lasso that and turn on shadow highlights. There it is. Drag it on over. And the big thing we're going to do here is recover the highlights. So I uncheck the auto amount because really auto doesn't cut it when it comes to color correction. There we go. Let's expand that a bit. And we're going to twirl those highlights and pull them down. Notice there how the highlights are getting narrower. Now we want to twirl this down a little bit here and take a look and start to work things through. Let's go ahead and go to our more options here and adjust what is a highlight. So as we adjust this threshold here, more or less is described as a highlight. So as we widen that out, more of the shot is being affected. If you need to get a little bit more smoothing, go ahead and turn up the radius there and you get a gentler transition between the areas. You see there how there's a little bit of a glow. This sort of softens that out. Now, I could clip the black, and that's looking better, and the buildings really come to life, but the sky, still pretty problematic. Let's tackle this with a little bit more stacking. Now, I've got that shot where I want it, and I'm going to take this clip, Alt-click to select it here. I'm going to take this clip and just copy it, and paste another instance right after it. Let's grab that and drag it up on top there. We've got a second copy. There we go. Double click on that copy and go to Effect Controls and we're going to go under Opacity to the Blend Mode. And What I want to do is darken things, so I'm going to choose things like Multiply. And you see how that sort of pulls the sky back down a little bit. Now we can adjust the mode there. That's looking pretty good. The sky, still pretty blown out, but we're getting somewhere now. Let's take those clips and nest those together so it treats it like a single shot. And now I can go after and start to do my color correction. What I was doing with those combination effects, sort of building up the base, getting more detail in the sky, recovering it with shadow highlights, bringing the colors out a little bit using blending modes. And now that I've got more information to work with, I'm going to start to tackle it with some filters. Let's go in here to our color correction category and we'll deal with some of our standard options. We'll start with a little bit of brightness and contrast and I'm just going to take the brightness down. There we go. Got a little more to work with. Let's take in our three-way color corrector. And what we want to go after here are the highlights. Yeah. Assigning what's a highlight, that's pretty good there. And we're going to go ahead and pull those down. And let's take the output levels down a bit. There we go. Okay. Got more sky to work with there. And now I'm just going to follow up with the shadow highlights command to bring this back up in the building. Drag that on over. 
and that did a pretty good job there. Notice auto amounts kicked in. It automatically brought the sky down and it brought the buildings up. If you need to, you can uncheck that and go after it yourself. We'll lift the shadows back up, pull the sky down even more. There we go. Adjust our radius there so it's a little smoother. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then put a little bit more color back in. There we go. Now, let's compare that to the original shot where we started and where we ended up. Now, there's more I could do here, but you see we really brought things out. And it did take some time, and that's the problem here. I'll let you in on the secret. If you don't want to fix a blown out sky in post, shoot it right. It takes much less time to fix in post if it comes in right to begin with. But this is one of the hardest shots to fix because when something's blown out, there's just no information there. I find that by taking several smaller adjustments with filters, as opposed to trying to use a single filter and making a gross adjustment, little tiny filters whittling away, combining, boosting the color, bringing down the output levels, filling it back in, that that gentle massage can bring more of the shot out. You see here we went from really everything blown out to much nicer contrast and a bit of the sky there to work with. We could refine that there by getting into the radius, get rid of that glow, that looks better, you know, twirl in a little bit there with the shadows, get those so we're happy with them, and all in all, that's a good fix. My name's Rich Harrington. I thank you for joining us here for the Creative Cow Video Adrenaline episode on Adobe Premiere Pro. And head on over to creativecow.net where you can check out our great online forums as well as extra videos and tutorials to help you get more done with your editing system.